that's actually way better. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to an Aaliyah art video. I am going to be doing a live vlog today because as you may see from the title, this is about my injury from my Achilles tendon. I ruptured my Achilles du um, during Zumba. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to do this in one take here because I've done this too many times and I don't know how people do this shit and I'm going to swear. <laughs> I like to make live vlogs especially after I've had a surgery or some kind of accident because it's really hard to see how that road to recovery looks like and I myself have been looking at videos for self-help on TikTok or YouTube and I believe it's important for me to kind of contribute to those videos because everyone's experience is different but you want to be able to have that reassurance and I am grateful to those videos being there for me to be reassured so hence why I'm doing this. I'm very yapping <laughs> but let me start at the beginning. During Zumba I erupted my Achilles heel and this happened whilst I was doing the move where I was extending um, like I was on my tippy toes like this extending my foot down so like you know I'm doing basically if you know what um, capoeira is I was doing the Jenga move the capoeira basic basically <laughs> and um I don't think I was warmed up properly but I have always had problems with my left Achilles and I am very conscious about putting too much weight onto it, even extending and doing moves like that where you have to overextend your ankle kind of slightly but you need to be warmed up for those things to be executed properly. Yeah, as I went to the right side I heard a loud pop noise, oh, it just felt gross repeating the story. but. Oh, it's one of the most nastiest injuries you can have. Don't rupture your Achilles, but of course you're here because it's happened to you, hasn't it? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry if it's happened to you. Yes, I heard a lap pop noise and then it felt like someone kicked my leg in. And I was like, I looked behind me because I'm in a group Zumba class. I looked behind me and I think my, my friend behind me has kicked me by accident. And she looked at me, she was like, are you okay? And I was like, she hit me. And she goes, no. I was like, okay. I meant to carry on dancing to do Jenga and I collapsed on the floor but luckily my friend behind me caught me because I would have probably had more injuries happen if I just fell to the floor and then I remember being in some searing pain and I was crying I was just like something is really wrong and it's yeah I, I was like I can't walk I can't walk and it was just a shock it was a complete shock and went to A&E um, later on so basically the Zumba class was in the evening I got driven home by my friend thankfully because the ambulance refused to come they seem to have more important things to deal with but yeah the accident in the gym where someone can't walk okay well I understand the NHS is busy anyway but like what can you do so I got driven home, I was given ice. I thought I had just sprained my ankle very badly because it was very swollen. And I put um, a compression sock on it and went to sleep. I called 111 and this had come in tomorrow morning to the um, A&E, which is local to me. And I was like, okay, it was so painful though. I just took some painkillers, went to sleep. And then literally um, I got driven to the hospital and by, by like my mum and um, hobbled my way into A&E and then finally got seen the doctor did all like the normal checks and stuff and I was like I can't walk at all I've sprained my ankle before but this is this is some kind of pain I've not experienced before when I've sprained my ankle and then he done all the checks on my legs try to you know there's certain checks you do on the leg where it will have a reflex and my my foot wasn't doing that and then he said, I think you may have a tear in your Achilles tendon. Well, we're hoping it's a tear because if it's a full rupture, that's a different story. And I was like, I thought this was a sprained ankle. But to hear that, I was just like, I've always had problems with my left Achilles. Why is my right Achilles the one that has torn? And obviously now I can see it's because it's overcompensated for all the weight over the years because of the left one. So... You don't realise how delicate your ankles are, but they carry all our weight. So I'm doing all I can to strengthen my left at the moment because I'm on crutches and I'm hopping around and relying on this foot a lot more, of course, now because 
I can't at all put any weight or walk on my right leg. Yeah, so the pathway from the a &E, they had to refer me to a different hospital to get an ultrasound to see more of what's going on. They did an x-ray though, and there are thankfully no broken bones. And the ultrasound that I did at the next hospital within a few days um, showed that it was a complete rupture of my Achilles. It's completely torn. So like, just say like this is the Achilles and it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's torn apart and I remember the doctor saying that pop noise is the sound of your tendon ripping and I was like wow okay <laughs> oh if you say if you hear that noise that means a tendon or muscle has ripped but yeah uh, oh so horrible the tear was so big the so the rupture was so big the gap was about three centimeters big they said that's too big for them to allow me to heal on my own tendons take long to heal on their own anyway so they will have to go in with surgery especially that I'm actually um, an active person I don't like I'm not an athlete in training for Olympics or anything yeah but it, it happens to a lot of athletes and people who are active I'm a dancer I just do it for fun for fitness but I do go um I go gym I, reg I work out regularly if anything um, I go about two three times oh, no I go about two, uh, three four times a week but every session I've done is about two hours each so I do like one hour of Zumba and then another hour of like maybe um hit training or um like lifting and stuff just to maintain strength but also I I do miss my karate days I love to remember my self-defense as well so I do an hour of that as well as like dancing but dancing is something I just love doing it makes me feel good and I'm very sad that I can't do any exercise like that at the moment except maybe weightlifting like if you count yourself like carrying your own weight on your crutches literally think of that as like this is part of your training because that oh, the A&E they just gave me crutches and were like yeah okay we booked you into the next hospital <laughs> wait till then and just get around on crutches I've never used crutches in my life it was the first time I ever had a cast on my leg I don't think you can see it but yeah it's there <laughs> I got cast and I was just like still like you want to hobble and walk on your right even though you can't and it hurts you must absolutely not put any weight on your damaged Achilles okay because first of all you can't it won't support you second of all it will delay healing and yeah so I had to learn eventually how to do it and thankfully the second hospital that I'm actually being seen in now they have taught me how to use crutches properly they're very supportive and I'm going to get physio soon so I'm very happy about that I had the surgery nearly two weeks ago on Friday as always surgery is scary this is my third surgery <laughs> because if you look in my youtube history yeah i've had a few surgeries <laughs> this is the first time it was a serious accident i didn't know obviously at the time it would be something that would need surgery so everything was very touch and go within the five days since i got injured and i had to change so many things that were coming up last minute events i had booked holidays i booked and plans everything out the window i'm sorry if you have an achilles a tendon injury and you have a rapture yeah within the next two months give yourself eight weeks everything all your plans cancelled you, you're not going out anywhere you can't walk you can't like unless you want to walk around on the crutches or you get a wheelchair it's a lot it's a lot because it's not even that it's heavy for you to like be walking on crutches or stuff even if you're in a wheelchair you're going to be exhausted that part of your body is trying to heal and you really need to like you know hydrate you're also going to feel tired a lot of the time a lot of things that um, I found out when my friends have come out to visit which I'm so grateful for after I have a fun full-on conversation with them and they leave I get so like tired <laughs> and worn out you have to obviously wash yourself differently you cannot stand in the shower unless you've got a bathtub where you have handles you've got to really think about accessibility here you are temporarily disabled and i'm going to keep it keep it 100 of you like because bro as this unfolded for me it was just so emotional it was so upsetting 
I it was just even upsetting that I couldn't walk anymore I had to get ubers everywhere you're gonna get ubers everywhere <laughs> if you go outside if you have people around you who are offering support and you have people at home as well that can do that for you you're gonna need to accept that support and help and that's one thing about like I know it's annoying but if it's your character trait like me like you find it hard to accept help from other people like bun that to get get rid of that right now because you're gonna have to say yes and there are certain things you can do by yourself and be determined enough to pick yourself up literally and do it because you don't want to lose your agility you don't want to lose like that kind of energy it's been hard you'll have good days you'll have bad days and this is all after the surgery by the way but the surgery itself yeah it's scary like you're going to be put under general it's two hours long because you spend the first hour trying to well they spend the first hour trying to relax your muscles and your leg so then they can go in and operate and there will be a scar but that's fine and um yeah it's them basically stitching the rupture back together so that gap they're stitching it back together to help it heal properly and faster and then the cast they'll give um not give they'll basically wrap your leg up in a cast and your leg is going to be your, not your leg your foot is going to be pointed you know like a ballerina tippy toe because it will relax the achilles the ankle if anything that's how it needs to heal and you don't want to be putting no stress on it but yeah as you go on this is why it takes about two months to heal they're gonna eventually change the angle of your foot so you'll go from a cast to a boot hopefully i'll be in a boot by the end of this week and um the boot has a heel that they can actually change the angle of and then eventually you'll be flat on your feet again and this is all part of the physio journey yeah an achilles tendon rupture that is an injury you do not play at all with i mean my nails are a state by the way because i can't go outside to go to the nail salon <laughs> i really want to but i can't there are a lot of things you won't be able to do because you have crutches like the other day i can't like i got really upset because i can't make a cup of tea and bring it to my room i have to be in the kitchen and sit there and drink the tea like <laughs> i was upset because you realize your independence is just gone and that is what it that's what it feels like but it thankfully in the grand scheme of things two months is not a long time so there is a silver lining it's just the mindset as well as keeping your physical like keep your physical intact too so move around where you can but don't push yourself or don't overexert yourself this is the time to rest and it's so boring it's so boring as someone that's very active and on the go I'm sure you must be too if you're here <laughs> it's it is upsetting a lot of the things that you can't do anymore like dance competitions or like um even holidays I I had to I can't go on a holiday that I paid for I let someone else go in my place um I had a few events that I was going to be selling artwork at or like you know presenting at can't go anymore and they've been kind enough those events to reschedule me but it's looking good for July that I'll be able to do stuff so the sooner you get your surgery the quicker you can really start your healing and recovery process it's mainly you just lying down or sitting around with your leg elevated keep your leg elevated as much as you can my leg is up right now if I could have it higher than my heart that would be way more desirable but it, uh, you just use what you can I can do it in bed thankfully in the hospital and you're fine actually even just outside if you I haven't gone on the bus yet but even when I'm around just near <laughs> the public transport people are so polite and so helpful when they can see that you are not able to do things yourself so yeah there are some really kind people out there <laughs> as well and if anything I think from this experience for me I'm already really mindful I like to think of others but now that I know firsthand how this feels I'm going to do all I can to be there for somebody who's, who has an injury like this because it's it gets quite overwhelming some days where you, you just feel like you're missing out on things it's not in the long run and I've been using the opportunity 
of time I've got right now to catch up on things that I otherwise wouldn't have done. Like I actually get to work from home indefinitely until I'm able to walk and go to work basically. So I've been able to make a YouTube video. <laughs> I've been able to draw. I've been able to plan things ahead of time when I know I'll be able to walk again. And yeah, even, even having to take the L is hard, but you learn that things will come around for you anyway money will always come back and you always have another opportunity to go on a holiday and you learn to just be thankful because there were times where I nearly didn't go outside or do things that I enjoyed because of like a uh, toxic ex or like what other people were saying or like you know because of drama but really at the end of the day being able to have your own independence and do things yourself that is such a big blessing bro don't ever take that for granted and don't let anybody ever tell you don't do something <laughs> i know that sounds mad but like that is what is quite poignant in my brain right now i'm so glad i had all those times where i went outside i went to parties and met people went to events made things moved and shaped my way through like the art realm as well and i'm actually streaming as i'm here because i like playing video games and drawing it makes me happy but when I need to rest and I'm exhausted, I let myself have that time to rest. And trust me, you're going to sleep like 10, 12 hours sometimes. I keep sleeping and sleeping, but that's your body healing. It does the most healing when you sleep. Yeah, if you have any questions or you want to talk about your experience in the comments, please leave it down below. I wish you a great recovery. You are going to recover. My cousin is actually my Zumba teacher and she said there are people who have Achilles ruptures. Like we've been like six months to a year. They're back to the gym, they're back to dancing, they're back to weightlifting, they're back to running. So you got this. And I'm going to show you another video where I am actually going to go to my first Zumba lesson after all this is done. Thank you for watching and I hope this video was helpful for you. Please leave um, a like and subscribe if you want to. I'm not going to force you, you know, you know. I hope, not even hope, I will make more YouTube videos because I do actually enjoy it. And now that I have a headset, I'm not at the mercy of my AirPods running out anymore. So I have no excuse, basically. And I still might find some kind of excuse, but whatever. <laughs> I'm just keeping it 100. <laughs>